What's going on, YouTube? It's your boy, the Expert Genius, aka XP. And I want to talk a little Nicholas Asbury and Tyson Fury. Sorry, you know, got the dog outside, it's dark. But uh, other than that, go back this way so y'all can see me. So, Nicholas Asbury accuses Tyson Fury of being a glove cheat. So, I'm going to have the video in the description. I guess it's back from November, which if it's back in November, you know that's for the Tyson, not Tyson Fury, Deontay Wilder fight. But he said during sparring, he doesn't, you know, don't know if, uh, it was Tyson Fury's doing, but he knows the camp's doing, taking padding out the gloves so they can hurt uh, sparring partners so they can give Tyson Fury enough confidence to get in the ring with Deontay Wilder. I find it funny that no mainstream media is even commenting in on this. And I just seen, you know, a little report from back from July of this year when Tyson Fury was calling uh, Vladimir Klitschko a cheat, saying that, you know, he was tampering with the scales during weigh-in, uh, tampering with the ring, tampering with the gloves, and all that, all that kind of stuff. But he doesn't want to talk about how he entered the ring with Nandrolone in his system. Yeah, but you know, to me, it's just crazy that Nicholas is putting this out now, but he's basically putting it out because Patrick Day died and he wanted to bring awareness to the corruption in the sport. But if this is true, man. This is bad looking. And he said he went off on them and Ben Davidson, you know, you know, tried to get him to calm down and, you know, keep everything on the hush hush. So, like I said, if that's true, I can see why they didn't take the rematch. And why Tyson Fury took that moral victory. Say, so, you can't call somebody a cheat when you're cheating yourself with Nandrolone in your system and with Deontay Wilder taking pads. I mean, you're taking the padding out your gloves to, to try to build confidence for you when you get in the ring with Deontay Wilder. And it's crazy because, you know, most people, when they think about uh, Tyson Fury's failed test, they don't even think about the Nandrolone. They think about the cocaine. And how he's getting all this sympathy for, you know, battling mental health, you know, knocking the drug addiction and, you know, alcoholism, which if you look at it, he's still on drugs. And he's even admitted he's, st he's still on the bottle. He's still drinking. I mean, he's indecisive. One minute he says one thing, the next minute he's saying another. I mean, this dude is all over the place. He has no confidence. Tyson Fury reminds me of the guy that behind closed doors has no confidence, but when the camera is on him, he gives you this false bravado. And I, I don't know if I said that word right or whatever. But yeah, he gives you this false sense of confidence and he's saying all this, all this stuff, but his action shows different. But that's my little video for right now. You know, mainstream media is not talking about, you know, this whole glove situation that was let out by Nicholas Asbury. But 
Until next time, shout out to the mighty LDBC. As you see, I'm still out here. We still out here working. We in here. Till next time, peace.